brief history, uh, Garvey Academy was established in 1991. It was part of the three African-centered schools. Um, in 1991, um, there was an idea about trying to save the African-American male. Marcus Garvey Academy were one of the three original African-centered schools, uh, Malcolm X, Paul Robeson, and of course my, uh, Marcus Garvey Academy. Uh, the Mar uh, Marcus Garvey Academy now today in 2012. Uh, this school has moved uh, approximately about five times in the span of its 21 year history. Um, we moved into this facility in 2009. They happened to be on uh, Van Dyke between Kirchhoff uh, and Burton. So um, what's unique about our school today, um, we merged three schools together. We merged Barber uh, Middle School, we merged Bustle Elementary Middle School together with Marcus Garvey. Um, roughly about 800 kids came together with, with these three mergers. The Garvey Academy within itself is a sense of community. Our motto is we respect all elders and leaders and uh, all the adults are respected. In this environment, the adults are in charge. The adults are the role models. The, adult, the adults lead the charge. So the curriculum um, itself, we emphasize in African American history, we emphasize in pride and cultural awareness. But if you really make, if you really don't think about Garvey Academy, what makes us truly a unique school, it's because, no question about it, the heart of it is the village concept. It's the entire community that raises, raises the children around here. Um, it's no question about it. You, when you walk into Garvey Academy, you understand one thing. The adults are role models. The adults are the ones that lead and teach the, the young students. Um, our children, when adults walk into the room, part of their tradition is for them to stand up and recognize the adults in the classroom. So any adult walk into a classroom at any time, the children will stop what they're doing, stand up, and at that point acknowledge the adult and the visitor. It's a sign of respect. Um, also, the, the children walk around here what's called on the green line of success. It's a set of green tiles that the students walk on. Um, part of that reason is it, it's, it gives a sense of order and discipline, and also it, it gives a sense of um, um, grade um, school awareness with regard to management. Um, if you've ever been in a school where you have five, six hundred kids in a hallway at the same time, it's very chaotic. This gives the sense of order and discipline. So the children walk in line. Um, our teachers escort them from class to class. Um, as an administrator, I can stand in the hallway. I can watch five, six hundred kids passing at the same time without incident, without any situation. The Harambe Center roughly cost about $1.5 million. The Harambe Center is a center that is, is a community hall. Um, it's a, during the day, it serves as a multi-purpose uh, room, as a lunch room. In the evening, it serves as a community center. Uh, it, uh, on the weekends, it serves as a reception, a wedding reception hall. We needed a place that truly embodied the community. So the community has access to this beautiful facility. You, you're talking about state-of-the-art technology, you're talking about kitchen facilities, you talk about a 10,000 square foot meeting room. So it, it really uh, gave an explanation point on the Garvey Academy program. And Harambe means come together. Once a week we have what's called Harambe. Harambe is a school community. We, we get together and it's span about 35 to 40 minutes. We go over positive affirmations. We go over student of the week, the mission, the objectives for that particular week. So we held it in our cafeteria. Our, our cafeteria is small. Uh, we have roughly uh, 600 children, but the cafeteria only really holds 400 kids. So we have to kind of condense it and not have certain grade levels at certain times. The Harambe Center gave us what we needed, an actual meeting room, an actual auditorium style that the kids can participate in. But in African Center School, Harambe is the heart of our program. So that was clearly number one. Part of the bond that the, the bond that was initiated, uh, I believe in 2009, part of it was renovations. We have two state-of-the-art library. I'm sorry, um, science classrooms. We have renovated classrooms, technology, but we didn't have the Harambe Center, and and the Harambe Center came up later with the second phase of the bond. Uh, and at that point, we realized that, that is the heart of our program. Uh, it makes a difference when the kids go into a, a, a 10,000 square foot facility that's state of the art 
Um, the air condition is not crowded, and also part of this Harambe Center, we have our promotion exercises there. It's called Rites of Passage. The students go through a ritual um, that they go through a span of training throughout the Garvey Academy, and at the end, they have a culminating activity, which is the Rites of Passage. It's a little bit different than any eighth grade promotion that you're seeing. It's an actual right into manhood and womanhood, where the young people recognize um, their responsibility to the community. Target, um, it was, was wonderful by our library. You have a, what's called a cyber cafe, uh, cyber style, uh, cafe style um, chairs and tables, but they gave us 10 iPads. So the children here have access to that technology and also a smart board and also computers. Um, so with that, in, with that in mind, our library has everything, it has all the state of art, everything. So we have iPad, smart boards, we have projectors, computers, we have everything that any other state art library have. We're doing something special at Garvey Academy and they have Target recognize us, they have the volunteers recognize us, they have our parents recognize us, they have our boys and girls to know that all these people have love and respect and appreciate them. Um, it, it's truly overwhelming and, and, and I could not think of a better um, community of children and parents and my staff that really deserve it. These are heroes and sheroes every day that give it their all and just a moment of time for them to get recognized by this organization is truly heartfelt and warming as, as the school principals.